I'm Dimitria and I do content creation and media strategy at Wine Contemporary in Zug, Switzerland. Today, I want to talk to you about Jeff Koons, who holds the record for the most expensive contemporary artist. On this note, his secondary market also consists of over 131 works that have been sold at auction for more than 1 million each. Koons rose to prominence in the mid-80s as part of a generation of artists who explored art in a media-saturated era. David Salle once said, the most interesting thing that Jeff did is to make everyday American style happiness. And that happiness is strongly presented in his highly acclaimed celebration series, where you can see the artist hinting to a further development of the balloon animals, taking the shape of a rabbit, monkey and a swan. In the form of a recognizable balloon animal, these works were initially created as large sculptures, around 3 meters tall, heavy and strong, made out of steel and covered in chromatic coating, which makes them shiny and reflective to the viewer and to the environment where it is placed. Here we have the additions of these sculptures that Kunz created together with Bernardo. One can say that these animals have now been tamed and domesticized. It is not uncommon for Kunz to play with scale and materiality, as you may have seen in the Split Rocker Vase video, which we did before. With the balloon animals, Kunz builds bridges with art history through exploring the interesting subject matter depicted and its materiality. The balloon animals Bernardo editions are made out of porcelain. Kunz feels strongly about this material and uses it to make connections to its history and association to the elite. By working with this material, for the Balloon Animals edition, he democratizes it, making it obtainable to a variety of people, where one's background, age and wealth are not defined or discriminated. Anyone can obtain the Balloon Animals porcelain editions and enjoy them at a more affordable price. When exploring the subject matter, one sees how traditionally the Balloon Animals is placed in a celebratory environment. For example, at a child's birthday party where the parents hire a clown to entertain the kids and the invitees. The clown skillfully creates those balloon animals to entertain his or her customers. We observe that the action required to get an animal-shaped balloon initially requires care for the viewer in order to want to entertain them. Skills and practice to create the shaped animals and most importantly, air. The clown breathes in air to fill the balloon. This action of blowing air into a hollow object projects the biblical creation when God made Adam from clay and then he breathed air into him. Air represents life, life that is trapped inside the balloon and somehow brings the balloon to life. With the air, it can then be formed into a swan, a monkey or a rabbit. And then that has a very strong biblical connotation, which has been presented in the history of art for thousands of years. If you look at Kunz's oeuvre, one sees that life is a constant subject. It is his epicenter. In his works from his early inflatables, the new, in the form of hoovers, the equilibrium series, the balloon animals, even the floral sculptures, all of those series explore the subject of life and its course. Of course, a normal balloon deflates with time as air gets out, which symbolizes death. However, Kunz is cheating death. The balloon animals will never deflate. They represent our obsession with youth, life and anti-aging consumption. It represents immortality. Kunz opens the dialogue with the history of art. He invites everyone to engage in the dialogue and rethink our contemporary stand and evolution with painting, representing the subject of Memento Mori and the Vanitas ideology in the Italian and Northern Renaissance. These extremely polished, reflective editions offer us the opportunity to experience art inside us. As Kunz says, the art is in the viewer. If you don't move, nothing happens. Again, with these works, Kunz also makes links to the Greek myth of Narcissus, a subject explored by the greatest artists of the history of art. Some of those artists Kunz collects and admires. He finds them interesting, such as Caravaggio, Dali, Waterhouse. In this myth, Narcissus falls in love with his appearance and his reflection, which can be a commentary on our vanity and the extremes of beauty amongst in today's society. The Balloon Animal Editions are available in two sets. The first one was created in 2017 and the second one in 2019. The 2017 set had the rabbit in red, the monkey in blue and the swan in yellow. The 2019 set offered the rabbit in violet, the monkey in orange and the swan in magenta. 
With the second edition coming to the market in 2019, it offered the opportunity to create a collector set and offer the six editions with a matching number. The six artwork figures presented as a set have been very successful and performed extremely well in the auction market. Last June, in 2019, it was offered at the Doroteum as a matching edition number and is sold for 85,000 US dollars. Three months later, another matching collector set was offered at Philips in New York, and the price it fetched was over 93,000 US dollars, a price increase of 10%. This year, in January 2020, another matching set was offered at Philips in London, and it sold for 100,000 US dollars, an increase in price of 20% just in six months. It is interesting to note that despite the geographical location in Vienna, New York and London, these Jeff Koons balloon animals in matching edition number are very desirable and have shown price appreciation of a very short amount of time. Another factor to notice is that the second set, which was released in 2019, had brought a price increase to the first set from 2017 and it has made it rarer. As the first collector set in matching edition number sold at auction in June, the price for the first set uh, the Red Rabbit, Blue Monkey and Yellow Swan, that was correlated and reacted by a price increase. This is also the occasion that a set of three balloon animals whose edition numbers were not matching, that managed to acquire a very high price, fetching over 61,000 US dollars at Philips in London.